I managed to build this in two days. Now that is pretty quick, and I did using quite a few advanced building techniques. If you want to learn about some of those techniques, or if you just want to enjoy a time-lapse video, then this is the video for you. Let's jump into the deep end right now and talk about World Creator and World Machine. This is a set of tools, or World Machine and World Creator, are two separate tools for generating Minecraft terrain extremely quickly. They're not even made for Minecraft. Typically they're used for different games such as Red Dead Redemption or Call of Duty or really any game with lots of landscapes, possibly even something like Breath of the Wild as well. Now in Minecraft, of course, that is extremely overpowered. Uh, we can put it into Minecraft using World Painter and colorize it using World Painter as well. So this ends up being a really good method for building terrain as quickly as possible. Now, of course, this is a bit of an advanced topic. I can't really get into this video, so the links to some videos I've done on it in the past will be in the description. Now that it's in Minecraft, we're not off to the races just yet. There's still one more external program that I use for Minecraft builds. And now this is a new thing that I just started using, and it's a brand new tool that is Blip. It's actually a program that I'm making myself, and it lets me generate Minecraft builds from 3D models. It's extremely useful, as you can imagine, and that's how I got the tree into Minecraft. It lets me be able to generate builds very, very quickly. If you want to find out more information about Blip, don't forget to first off subscribe to the channel, comment down below, or join the Discord server. Now that we have the tree inside of Minecraft, we can now paint the tree using different tools. Now, since I'm on the server Builders Refuge, there's quite a few tools for this, and I use the feather to be able to use the paintbrush tool. This actually automatically finds crevices, and I use dark oak wood to uh, make the crevices look like they are shadowed in just a little bit more. So we added basically fake shadows to make it look, um, to make it pop just a bit more. Then on top of that, we also add some very subtle highlights using coarse dirt. That also helps it just give it a bit more flair on the highlights of the tree. Especially because Minecraft doesn't have realistic lighting, so this helps out a lot. Welcome to my favorite part of the Minecraft build, which is copy pasta. Copy pasta is a building technique that I named um, very strangely because it's a very fun technique that is a little bit silly and just how awesome it is. And it's something that a lot of people do and you just you don't even really notice it until you take a close look. What you're able to do is just build like five trees and five buildings and you're able to copy those trees and buildings a lot of times. So if we have five buildings, we're able to copy each of them ten times. Now we have a city of 50 buildings, which is um, a lot of buildings. So just with a few buildings, we're able to build an entire city extremely quickly. In the same way for the trees as well. We're able to build something like five trees and copy pasta them around uh, to be able to make an entire many, many forests, really, because this is a huge plot here. This is a thousand by a thousand. We're able to, to detail the entire terrain just using trees, and all we needed to do was paste um, five of them around. So, copy pasta is my favorite building technique. It's something that I am personally not very good at, though, but it's something I am getting better at.
this next building technique is not as good as copypasta, but it is really good nonetheless, and it is the Revolve Command. It is technically possible on the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, but it's not nearly as easy to do as it is on Bedrock, but if you do want me to do a tutorial on how to do the Revolve Command for the Bedrock edition of Minecraft, don't forget to comment down below if you want me to do that. Now, for the Java edition on Builder's Refuge, we can use the slash slash revolve command. I think you might have to be a member in order to do this, but if you are able to get hold of the add-on for uh, servers for this, this can be extremely awesome to add to your own server if you're on Java. Uh, what it lets you do is be able to build a single sliver of a build and rotate it around in a circle. So most of these circular buildings here were done in a single command inside of Minecraft. Of course, the details I added afterward were not done in the command, but the actual structure of the entire thing was done using a single command. Okay, now we are here. This is copy pasta. Yes, 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 yes. This is the best part. Now we actually get to take all the stuff that we built previously and copy pasta them all the way around the build, which is pretty awesome. We're able to build the entire city as well as all the trees extremely quickly. Uh, the build is pretty much done at this point, however, the video is not over. The next part that I did as well was to render the build. Um, so I took the world and I used Mineways to export it to what is called an OBJ file. That can be opened by a program called Blender, and it lets me do some really amazing images using it. So that is how I did the thumbnail. I used Affinity Photo to do some of the other editing on top of the image as well. Um, but the actual render, the way that I got all of the lighting and I was able to render everything in, um, was using Blender, which is extremely useful for doing really awesome thumbnails. I actually have quite a few tutorials on how to do it, and apparently many people have said that they are like the Minecraft rendering um, tutorials, so apparently they're quite good. Um, so I would recommend to go there, but there's also quite a few other tutorials from people like Meg Ray as well, so if you want to check out those, then the links will be in the description. This is it. I hope you enjoyed this epic build that I did here, uh, where I show you a lot of very advanced building techniques I use to be able to build uh, massive structures as quickly as possible in Minecraft. Because as a professional builder, I need to be able to finish things as quickly as possible. I'm working on other projects. I have a lot of stuff to do. I can't waste time by doing things th the way that you know I sometimes want to, by building them by hand. Sometimes I have to do things as quickly as possible, so I hope you enjoyed seeing all of these rare techniques you almost never get to see on YouTube. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, I like the video. Yeah, subscribe to the like button and like the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next one. And God bless.